Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Danny NHG here, and today I've got a Moab on mission. So yeah, me and a teammate get a Moab. Uh, there's only I think there was three of us in a team on this, but this video is not really about the gameplay because the gameplay is pretty slow and not that good. But what it's mainly about is like teamwork, because you see a lot of people who like complain about not enough teamwork being done, not enough tags being picked up when you're playing kill confirmed. Uh, domination, not picking, like running to the flags and capturing the flags. Well, I'm at this point now in Modern Warfare 3 where I'm just fed up of running, cap trying to capture a flag and someone's sat in the corner and kills you. Or kill confirmed where you start picking up loads of tags and none of your teammates are. So, in this gameplay, I just don't even care about the tags. I'm just running about and. My main plan was just to pull off a Moab, that's all I wanted. I wanted a flawless Moab, which I ended up getting. But I just wanted a Moab, I didn't care what I got it. So, I didn't even bother with tags. Uh, I do pick up an MP7 later on, because I start with a P90, but I feel more comfortable with an MP7 and someone dies and drops one, so I pick it up. But yeah, with teamwork, they brought out that new game mode, which is MITD, which is mainly, in my opinion, for teamwork. Uh, the best way in it is a couple of you run at the jug at a time, and you kill him a lot easier than what you will running at him solo. Chances are, if you're running at him solo, he's just going to take you out. The Desert Eagle, yeah, the recoil's bad, but it's easy to kill people with it, as I've had a couple of mobs with the Desert Eagle from the jug, yeah, from the jug suit. So you're not really doing yourself many favours. Also the jug can knife you which is easy enough. So I've just been getting fed up of even trying to run teamwork at the minute. I'm just waiting for Black Ops to come out then I'll start playing objectively on there. Uh, I don't mind helping out my team if they need some like vest being run or something. I'll run, out, I'll run vest for them. I've had a couple of mobs while running support which I find a bigger achievement than just getting like a specialist one because they're a lot harder. You run out of bullets, you got to pick up guns, you got to work around other people's weapons. So yeah, this gameplay pretty slow. I don't the way I usually work mission anyways. I don't run into the center because that's just like a death trap. So all I did was like patrol this side of the map. There was a couple of times when I should have died but I didn't, which unlucky for them but lucky for me I mean it's not often that you get good gameplays where you don't die get flawlesses especially when you've got people sat in corners that's just something that's been annoying me about Call of Duty for these last couple of days is the new maps are out for PS3 and I've tried them once and uh, I just can't play them there's too many people who just love sat in corners I thought it'd be the guy called the newbies who were just like new to Call of Duty or something like that, but it, in, it's people in Elite as well that are doing it. And I don't know what people's obsessions are with running Assassin all the time. Yeah, it's put in the game, but I think it should have been like put into the game so that you can only get it with specialists because if not, it's a bit pointless really. Just running about all the time getting like these deaths by people setting corners um, assassin should be used so that when you're running about and not setting a corner that it's actually activated and that when you're moving it's active and when you stood still it's unactive or at least marksmen should cancel it out because as you see near see over there a lot of people can lay in the grass and you can't see them a lot of snipers do it it's an easy kill for the sniper and it's an undignified death for yourself and it's just pretty frustrating. So yeah, what well, I was mainly just messing about, not even caring about tags, I was just killing people miles away. I've just been like that lately, not bothering. On domination, if someone captures one of our flags, I will go try and capture the flag. If I can, if I can't, I'll just leave it, I won't even care about it. So I know a lot of people love people playing like objectively. It's the way the game's made, it's the way how it should be played, but I just get that fed up with like the players that you put with. If I was running a full team it would probably be different, but 
the way I find it is I can't connect to anyone outside the UK because it just makes my connection dog shit and I don't like it. But even at the minute, just say if we're in a party of three and we've got to connect, we're connecting to the Netherlands anyways, we're connecting miles away from what we actually are, which is a ball ache in itself. As, as a lot of people know, connecting to other places isn't too good for your connection, so I think we usually get about, it's, we get a rare 75 MS ping, but a lot of the times it's over 100, which you can feel it in the games. I'll put it this way, it's pretty rare that we get a 4 bar. So I just love like uh, a UK team so that we can all run about and have 4 bars, have decent connections. Mobs will be easier, you won't have these all 3 bar mobs and 2 bar mobs or whatever bar you're running on. You need, as for like teamwork, teamwork in a team would be a lot better than what it is with just randomers. So I'm sure a few randomers think like I do and just like, oh they aren't picking up tags so I'll just leave the tags. I think a lot of them think like that. As I believe in this game we actually lose the game but we get a couple of more abs. Which, in Modern Warfare 3 I think people care more about your KD. They're not like, oh his win loss is shit, uh, we'll, we'll play this game and we'll win. A lot of people more look towards the kills and KD and think, oh we won't go against these, we've got high KD. Although my KD isn't too high, it's on a 1.7, but it still puts people off when they've got like a 1 KD. I don't know what the obsession is with the KD, it's just what people are into. But yeah, teamwork and new game mode, that's how people should be practicing the teamwork, but unfortunately they're not, so I just don't care. And I don't know where that guy just come running out of. It's like a mystery portal down the side there and he just come through it. But that's what I mean, them little gaps there, someone could easily camp in that gap and take you out pretty easy. Which is frustrating in itself dying on a streak. Last couple of days I've been dying like on a 22 to 23 kill streak, which has just been annoying me. Uh, in this as well, what annoyed me is we had a guy away from like his computer and just stood still, so he was just racking up loads of deaths. It's like, what is the point in me even staying in the game if that's happening? And as you see, someone's congratulating me on my undrift mob because yeah, I've just. Uh, I've just hit over 100, so I mean I'm not the best player but I've hit 100 miles which is a good challenge for me considering Modern Warfare 2 and never had a nuke. I didn't always run for a nuke but I never had one until like uh, Black Ops come out then I went back on it and got a nuke that way. But in Modern Warfare 3 I picked up the game and had like 100 mobs which has been like a challenge. Because half of them has been solo, but it's been a good challenge, I've enjoyed it. So, that's going to be the end of this commentary. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, there's not long of it. If you do enjoy, if you did enjoy this video and commentary, please just like it and favorite it. And check out my other videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace!